Hey everybody, I'm Tim Ward and welcome to Garden Sense Radio. We have a couple of emails that I want to get to here today, but before we do, we want to let you guys know that this is actually going to be our last video podcast for this season. Now, I'll go into this a little bit more later on in this video, and don't worry, we're not going anywhere, but this is going to be the last one for the 2022 season. So, with that in mind, why don't we jump right into these couple of questions. Question number one is from Lewis. Hey Tim, when do I fertilize holly? Thanks for the question, Lewis. You want to fertilize holly twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. We're in the fall now, so let's talk about fall first. What you want to do is pick up some garden trust, and we actually are running a clearance sale on our two pound garden trust bags right now over on Rosen's Online. So head over there and, and pick up what you might need for your holly bushes. When you put this down, what's going to happen is the, the, the plant isn't going to use it for growth. What it's going to do is actually store that nutrition over the winter time in its root system. So when the weather starts to warm up in March and early April, that nutrition is going to be released and available for the rest of the plant and you'll start to see some growth, which is obviously going to be really exciting. You're going to actually want to put down a second application in this scenario in the springtime. And the reason for that is it's going to help the plant, again, maintain that, that top growth. So uh, it's going to get bigger, it's going to bloom. And then what will happen is it's going to sustain that plant really through the, the summer and into fall, which again, the, the cycle is going to repeat. So again, appreciate the question, but two times a year, put an application of Garden Trust down right now and then put a second application down in the spring and just rinse and repeat. The next question is from Rosemary. Hey Tim, when do I put down plant trust for deciduous trees? Hey Rosemary, so the time is the fall to use plant trust on your deciduous trees. However, you want to make sure that the tree has gone dormant and that it's actually started to drop its leaves. Kind of like the, the previous question, what's going to happen is when you apply plant trust, it's going to get stored in the plants, or in this case the trees, root system and it's gonna store it there, strengthen those roots up real well, and then in the springtime, it's gonna, again, release that nutrition and it'll be available to the tree. And again, you're gonna have a really healthy looking tree um, if, if you, you know, use it this way. Fertilizing in the spring is not really recommended, although there are some deciduous trees where you can actually do that. But again, as a general rule of thumb for deciduous trees, wait till the tree goes dormant in the fall, it starts dropping its leaves and then put down plant trust. Now, for big trees, when you're using plant trust, remember that you wanna use two ounces for every one foot of height. So if you have a 10 foot tree, 10 times two ounces is 20 ounces of plant trust and that's what you're gonna to wanna to put down. So the last question that we're gonna to review today is actually combining about 15 different emails that I received this past week asking about Seamate. We addressed this a little bit in the last video and even the video before that, but again, I wanna reiterate because obviously uh, it, it's an important subject to you guys. We are no longer carrying Seamate. And the reason that we are not carrying Seamate is because we have Kickstart, which is the same product. And when I say it's the same, I mean you can use it on your lawn, but you can also use it on your plants, so your trees, your bushes, and any of your indoor plants. So how are you gonna use it? Well, just like you would with Seamate, you add water to, to the bottle to make a concentrate. You're then gonna to wanna to take two tablespoons of that concentrate mix, add it to a, a, a gallon of water, and that's the solution that you're gonna to wanna to use to feed your indoor plants. Feed that once a week, it's gonna really strengthen up those roots, and it, it's overall gonna just improve the health of that indoor plant. Uh, so again, we are not carrying Seamate, we're not looking to bring Seamate back, but again, Go ahead and use Kickstart in the exact same manner and you're gonna get the exact same results. Guys, just wanna remind you that the fall feeding frenzy actually ends at the end of the month. So October 31st, we're turning it off. And again, that's the fall feeding frenzy for those uh, three bag packs at a special price and with free shipping on the Turf Trust fertilizer. So head over to rosensonline.com if you haven't already purchased them and make sure you pick up some bags because again, your fourth feeding needs to happen between Halloween and Thanksgiving. So again, take advantage of that special price and free shipping. You've only got a couple of more days to take advantage of this. Dimension, uh, the, the 10 pound bags are still on clearance at rosensonline.com. 
the, the, the Turf Trust crabgrass control with Dimension isn't going anywhere, but next year they're actually going to a larger bag to help cover 5,000 square feet. So again, make sure that uh, if you're a, a fan of Dimension, head over and take advantage of the special price that we have. Again, rosensonline.com. When that 10 pound bag is gone, it is no more. Everything is gonna be moving to a larger bag next year. Uh, again, this is a decision by ProTrust uh, so that we can get some better coverage. It should cover 5,000 square feet per bag right now, which is, is obviously a really critical size just in terms of every, the other products that, that ProTrust sells. We are also having a clearance sale. It's still going on and we just lowered the price last week even more on the two pound garden trust bags. So again, the four pounders aren't going anywhere, but again, Pro Trust is looking to discontinue the two pound bags. Most people pick up the four pound bags anyway. So we have a really, really low price over at rosensonline.com for those two pounders. So we hope you go over and check it out. Now I mentioned this at the top of the video. This is actually gonna be our last video podcast for the 2022 season. Now, don't worry, we're not going anywhere. But given the time of year, the fact that a lot of the uh, emails start to slow down this time of year, and frankly, there's just a lot less to do outside, it's the perfect time for us to take a break because there's several things that we need to work on uh, in terms of our business so that we can make uh, the, the videos that we produce and the customer service we provide for you even better in 2023. So what are some of the things that we're looking to work on? Well, let's start just right here with the videos. We are actually looking to upgrade our studio, our camera equipment, um, the, the lighting, audio, all that stuff so that the, the videos that we produce, and again, we'll start producing these February of 2023, uh, should be even better. So we're really excited about the, the enhancements uh, that, that are in the plans here. The second thing that we'll be working on is actually uh, upgrading the websites. Now we've gotten a lot of really positive feedback from the website and I'll be, I'll be really frank with you, we were a little bit worried because the old Roses Online website had been established for so many years. We thought making the change that we did um, would throw a lot of people off, but you endured. Uh, and again, we got a lot of positive feedback and we got, uh, frankly, some, some criticism as well. And we wanted to, to take a step back and look at that criticism and see how we can actually tweak the website to make it even better. And so uh, we have a plan on how we're gonna do that and we're actually gonna implement that uh, over the course of the next uh, two or three months as well. And one of those enhancements, we're really excited about this, is actually gonna be a weed killer, weed preventer, uh, identification page and so the goal right now we've, we've started it we're pretty happy with the with the way it's looking right now uh, but in 2023 we're actually going to roll this out it's going to be available on Rosen's online as well as garden sense uh, I'm sorry radiogardensense.com it's actually going to be a way for you guys to visually identify uh, the, the weed that you have uh, and and you can look by the way the picture you can look by the name of the weed if you happen to know and we're actually going to be able to identify the product that you should purchase to go ahead and uh, eradicate that weed so we're really excited about this again it's still in the works but I'm telling it to you now so again it is going to show up in 2023 there's there's no take backs here at Garden Sense Radio. The third thing, and frankly, this is the thing that we're probably most exciting about, is over the next two, three months, we're gonna be doing a lot of research and development on some new products. There are some really cool weed killers that are, that are coming out, some granulars that we're excited about. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say as far as that particular product, but we think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. So we're doing, like I said, some R&D on that product right now. Uh, there's some uh, seed varieties that we're also looking at bringing in for the 2023 season and a couple of other products as well. So we have a very, very full plate in the next couple of months. Um, folks, I just, on behalf of everyone here at Garden Sense Radio, we want to say thank you. We weren't sure how things were going to go transitioning from a full-time radio program to a full-time uh, digital video platform but the feedback that we've gotten has been absolutely amazing we really appreciate the comments and again there have been some criticisms in there as well and we're going to take all that into consideration as we look ahead to the 2023 season so folks we really appreciate your business we really appreciate the time that you give us each and every week to watch these videos god bless enjoy the holidays and we'll see you guys in february 2023 have a great week